So in today's class, we have uh, dealt with a uh, lot of uh, features of uh, the Apollonaceae family and Caesar and Pinaceae family. So uh, an overview of this has been uh, carried out today. And uh, the class is uh, basically on uh, what the uh, family Fabaceae. So Fabaceae uh, comes under Leguminosae or yeah, primitive, the, uh, the older name of Fabaceae is Leguminosae, okay? And it comes under Dicotylidae, uh, in uh, Dicotylidae and uh, subclass uh, um, uh, Polypetale and uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, Calciflorae, okay? And uh, this order is Roseals and uh, the Roseals, under Roseals, the family is Leguminosae. Leguminosae has three subfamily that is Papillonaceae, C. salpinaceae and Mimosae. The code for this is PCM. The PCM you should remember Papillonaceae, C. salpinaceae and Mimosae. Fabaceae plant is also called as bean or pea family and it is coming under the class Dicotylidae, subclass Polypetale, order Roseales, family Fabaceae. Subfamily Papillonaceae, C. salpinaceae, and Mimosae, that is PCM, that we have already discussed. Coming to the introduction, this is the second largest family among the flowering plants. And there are 60 genera and 12,000 species and cosmopolitan in distribution. The plant habits are aquatic, xerophytes, arborescent, herbaceous, and shrubaceous. Many plants are climbers, especially they are in tendrils, twining, or like that. All these members are nitrogen fixation bacteria and they develop root nodules. Nitrogen fixation bacteria is a rhizobium and nitrogen is using nitrogenous enzyme it fixes the bacteria and it is having a complex of iron molybdenum complex. This helps in fixing of ni atmospheric nitrogen for the fixation 16 ATP is, is used and the nitrogen is converted to two molecules of ammonia at 16 ADP. The leaves are mostly compound and rarely simple. Compound leaves are seen. This is the diagram of the compound leaf. And pulvinus is seen at the base of the leaves. Here you could see the pulvinus. Here is the region where you could see the accumulation of water. Stipulates and stipules uh, with lot of variations are seen. Stipules can be seen on the leaves. Inflorescence are usually racemose type. Racemose type of inflorescence can be watched here. Then the flower is bisexual and diclamidis means they are having both calyx and corona. This uh, the gynesium part when we talk about the gynesium part it is monocapillary, marginal placentation and fruit is legume. So these are the basic characters and the family is divided into three subfamily PCM that is Papillonaceae, Cisalpinaceae, Minosae. This is a diagram of this is a photograph of Clitoria terminata. Malayalam we are seeing it as uh, uh, Changa Bushpa. This is the diagrammatic representation. This is the uh, structure of the diagram is not that clear. The Papillonaceae family, the arrangement of petal is very interesting. This is descendingly imbricate. Here you could see a lateral petal, a standard petal, lateral petal and a keel petal. This is the joining of the keel petal. The fused, what, fused gam, uh, sepals. Gamosephalus. Okay, these are some of the examples. And you could see this is the free stamens. The stamen is having 9 plus 1 arrangement. Diadelphus condition. Here you could see 9 of them are fused together and a single one is being seen in like this and 9 plus 1 arrangement. These are the lateral leaves and this is the standard leaves. This is the keel petals. Keel petals are fused. So another important point you should remember is the Descendingly imbricate structure. Okay, this is the uh, erythrima, red colored seeds of the plant. This is a stipule of the, this is a trifolid, and this stipule has been modified into tendril in Latheris. This is another plant similar to that of Casia, Laburnum, Erythrina. Okay, so what are the diagnostic characters? The main character of this, it produces like hemoglobin because of the root nodule that is inhabited by rhizobium, bacteria, nitrogenase enzyme. And the leaf are simple or common with pulvinous base. Racemose inflorescence are, you should see, more common. 
Perigynous and zygomorphic. Perigynous means half inferior, half superior ovary. Zygomorphic means there are unsymmetries there in the flower. Papillonaceous corolla, you know, there is a standard petal, lateral petal, and a keel petal with descendingly intricate distribution. That is very important point. See the root nodules. The semens are generally 10. Monodelphous or diadelphous condition can be seen. Monocapillary with ovules in marginal placentation and fruit is like you. These are the characters of Papillonaceae member. Okay, these are the common plant Abris pectus, Butea mosperma, Pictoria ternia, Clotralaria, Desmodium. There are two species are there Indigofera. Okay, so these are the common plants. And mostly they are seen in herbs, shrubs, and trees. These are a lot of examples and categorized. The same that has been uh, more concisely written here in fluorescence features. Flowers, how the flowers look like and how what is the condition of calyx and what is the condition of corolla. Papillonaceous corolla is an important point. Descendingly imbricate or vexillary estimation can be observed. What about the andresium? The stamens are 10. Okay. And 9 plus 1, and, uh, 1 arrangement can be seen. These are the features and in crotillaria you could see only monodelphous condition single bundle of 10 stamens can be seen. Dynesium again monocapillary unilocular and the ovule there are anatrop different types of ovule and the, this anatropus and amphitropus. What is this anatropus and amphitropus? This is the ovule structure. It's a micropyle region, the lacel region, the funicle and the position of the embryo. This is the egg cell mega, uh, female gametophyte. Here you could see eight cell stage. This is an orthotrophus, orthotrophus ovule. They are almost straight. And 180 degree turn, there is anatrophus. And this is a horseshoe shape, amphitrophus. And uh, not that much uh, tilting can be seen. That is amphilotrophus. These are the different types of ovule uh, structures. And the pollination by insect. Legume is the fruit and non endosome. So these are the economic importance of these family Papillonaceae. Pulses, mostly pulses are from this. Vegetables are there. Oil yielding plant that's groundnut, arrakis. Medicinal plants is also there. Timber yielding plant, ornamental plant also, Clitoria. Okay. So this is the Latharis. This is the Clitoria. Shanka Pushpam we are saying. Sapisum, that's a pea plant. This is the diagrammatic representation. This is a floral formula, zygomorphic, bisexual. Calyx 5 fused, Corolla 5, and Prisium 10 that is also fused. And this is the gynecium, half inferior, half superior, one locular. So, first you should draw the habit, after that, all this flower, then this appendages. Then, after that, you should go for your gynecium. Here it is monodelphus in Crotlaria. This is the gynecium, this is the diagrammatic representation. This is the floral formula. This is the LS of the flower. LS of the flower, you could see the perigynous condition. See the stretch here. Half inferior, half superior plant, you can see. Perigynous condition, all these should be marked very effectively. And okay, now we will move to the leguminose in leguminous. Cisalpinaceae family. Cisalpinaceae family, Casia is an example. Casia fistula is an example. That is the Kondapu we are saying in Malayalam. It is a habit. This is the flower. Asia tora, another plant is also there. Superior ovary can be seen in this. And cellus of the flower, this is a floral diagram. And this is the gynecium, this is ovary, this is the human part. The feature of this we will discuss and make you know, say these are the simple plants coming under uh, Rajamani, we are saying a yes, Cesarpinia pulcherima, Saraka indica, that is Ashoka tree. Asia, different species can be seen. Bauhinia. And tamarindus indicus, we are saying Puli Malayalam. Okay. So, this is our Cisalpinia. This is very familiar. Rajamali, we are saying Cisalpinia pulcherima. Okay, this is a diagram. Here you could see the uh, diagrammatic floral diagram of this plant. This is a Saraka, this is Star Anais. This is Acacia, Kunnapu. Okay, here you could see the U shaped. Uh, with the uh, gynecium, see the andrisium. Some are longer anthers, some are shorter anthers. Okay, this is bauhinia. 
another plant. So we will come to the general characters of this plant. They are 80 genera and 740 species. Trees, shrubs and lilas are seen. Some are uh, herbs also. Leaves are another important point you should remember is spinnately compound leaves. Okay. In Bauhinia it is a bilobe structure. And the inflorescence, the seam type spikes, corin. The flowers are bisexual, it is perigynous, dichlamidious, psychomorphic. The calyx is 5. It is polypetalous, imbricate distribution. Okay. What about corolla? Corolla is again polypetalous 5, ascendingly imbricate. Okay, remember that in Papillonaceae it is descendingly imbricate. And what about corolla in, in uh, uh, Cisalpinae, ascendingly imbricate? Okay, so Andrician there are 10. 10, uh, 10 of them can be seen in Casia. Tamarindus only 3 are being seen. Okay, that, 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 that depends upon the plant, it can vary. But gynecium it is monocapillary. Marginal placidation, fruit is a legume. Okay, seed is exalbuminous, in endosperm can be seen. Okay, this is the main uh, critical notes that is, the tree is having pinnate and bipinnate structure, which is a primitive character. And what about the upgrading character? Perigynous flower, psychomorphic flower, and uh, the number of stamens are more than compared to that of the sterile appendages. So, that is upgrading evolution characters. So some of the plant in this family is having timber yielding importance, gum. Gum yielding also, edible is our tamarindus. We are obtaining a dye from hematocyanin plant. Red dye has been obtained. So here you could see the differentiation of the, on the floral formula. Are in the number of gynesiums almost same, unilocular, marginal plasmation. But the variation is seen among the anders. Anders you could see the variation. And this diagram, uh, this uh, diagrammatic representation of this plan, you could see the presence of stam in our C, 7 plus 3 condition. 7 is just uh, fertile one and 3 is the stam in our This is how it is being represented. So it is bracted, e bracted, zygomorphic, bisexual, calyx is 5, C. And what about the corolla? Corolla is also 5. Uh, fusion is seen at the base. And the Andresia feature is 7 plus 3 arrangement, 3 is staminode and uninocular gynesia. Okay, this is the feature of Casia. And I hope you have enjoyed this. And this is an informative section on uh, what are the features coming under leguminosae plants, Fabaceae plants only, Papillonaceae and C. We have so far discussed.